speaking of evolution, I cannot believe I've never asked you about this, but the Boska skull uh, and, and people with those larger uh, head uh, kind of situations. Like, what if you were to speculate? What do you think is go is going on there? Like, uh, I'm sure it's more than just nutrition, right? Uh, they probably lived up high on Mount Kilimanjaro and grew watermelons. <laughs> and watermelons. <laughs> like, it, and uh, when you look at those skulls, like, are there parts like this? Is the cerebral cortex? Is it just um, it's like getting taller? Like, what what do you think is happening there? Um, uh, yeah, yeah uh, there uh, uh, a lot of these things we've been talking about uh, 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 increase the foldedness of the cortex. The, the low energy things tend to uh, give us a flatter, less wrinkled, thinner cortex. And uh, even within an individual lifetime, uh, you can see thickening or, or thinning of the cortex according to, uh, for example, your progesterone, the uh, estrogen ratio, uh, your, your carbon dioxide, the lactate. Uh, the, the, the cortex is growing uh, all the time uh, given uh, uh, the energy and conditions. Uh, and uh, as it uh, produces uh, more, more functioning cells, it gets thicker and, uh, in effect, longer and has to uh, wrinkle uh, to, uh, uh, since the whole, uh, the linear or the area of it increases and uh, on, a, on a sphere, uh, that means it has to get more and more uh, wrinkly and that thickens it, even though the layer in, in itself is uh, keeping the same structure, uh, the the wrinkles get deeper. Uh, Go ahead. I I, uh, I think that's uh, uh, the the thing that can in a very short time uh, account for a very big skull like the Boskop. You mentioned the, I think it was our last episode that the last hundred thirty years uh, of history were fraudulent. Like <laughs> if. Like historians seemingly are completely uninterested in something like the Bosca skull. Like, what, what are origins more mysterious and more interesting than a standard history book? Uh, oh, 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 yeah. The, the, the uh, all of the the history and and biological uh, books are, are uh, written uh, to uh, confirm a, a paradigm which is radically wrong. Uh, uh, if you start with Franz Boas, who uh, w w was sort of the founder of uh, scientific anthropology, uh, he studied head shape and uh, had the reason he isn't popular is that he showed what profound effects environment can have on the overall shape of the skull in just a single generation. Uh, uh, people uh, with parents uh, coming from the same region of Europe uh, with the same uh, in the community in Europe, uh, their heads all had the same uh, ratio of, of length and uh, width and height. But if they lived in New York or Puerto Rico, uh, their heads changed according to the the head shape of the people around them. Uh, obviously, something about the climate and diet uh, in a single generation changed those so-called evolutionary anthropological uh, physical characteristics. 